today we're putting Vienna's beloved Wiener Schnitzel to the ultimate test. We're comparing two schnitzels, the cheapest we could find at $21.90 and a pricier option at $28.90 in Vienna city center. After living in Vienna for over 30 years and trying countless schnitzels, only a few have truly left a mark. Today, we'll explore if a cheaper Wiener Schnitzel can give you the memorable experience or if it's worth spending a few extra euros for the real deal. We'll not only evaluate the schnitzels, but also dive into the classic Wiener Erdep for Salat, a tangy potato salad that's the perfect sidekick to this iconic dish. So watch till the end to find out if the higher price delivers a tastier experience. Let's get started. First off, what's a Wiener Schnitzel? Many of you might know what a Schnitzel is, but only a few truly understand what makes a real Wiener Schnitzel. A true Wiener Schnitzel is made with veal, not pork nor chicken. So if you're served a Wiener Schnitzel with pork, you'll know it's not the authentic version. Interestingly, many locals in Vienna often eat pork or chicken schnitzels because they're more affordable. The real Wiener Schnitzel made with veal is usually served for special occasions due to its higher price. While researching the cheapest Wiener Schnitzel in Vienna, we stumbled upon an article on derstandard.at which listed several restaurants offering Wiener Schnitzel for under 25 euros. Nice. One of the readers in the comments mentioned a place called Alt Wiener Stuben where you could supposedly get a Wiener Schnitzel with a side of potato salad for just 18 euros 90. Or do you guys know a cheaper Wiener Schnitzel in Vienna? Let us know in the comments. Naturally, we were intrigued and decided to visit this spot convinced that we had found the cheapest Wiener Schnitzel in Vienna. This excitement was short-lived. Unfortunately, we missed a small note on their website and instead trusted Google Maps opening hours, only to arrive to a closed restaurant and they were on a summer break, of course. What a bummer. But luckily, we had a plan B. Because it's prettier here. Gasthof zum Renner in Vienna's 19th district, where Wiener Schnitzel costs 21 euros 90 without a side dish. Let me tell you, this spot is so charming. With a beautiful idyllic entrance and stunning outdoor seating, it made a great first impression. Hello. What a stunning location. It feels like an escape from the busy city because here it's so quiet and peaceful and he's like watering the plants. So we it just opened up and we're like the first customers here. Danke. 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 So we are going for the Wiener Schnitzel. Um, it's slightly more expensive than the first spot we planned to go. It's 21 euros 80 and it's not including the salad. I mean, it's still a very good price, I have to say. Compared to all others, I think it's around 30% cheaper. But the other spot that we have found before and which was unfortunately closed was 18 euros 90, including the salad already. So that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy price. I'm not sure how big the portions might have been. Yeah. On the at the other place if the salad was included in that price but for now i'm really happy with the prices they're offering here i think 2180 is the cheapest i've seen so far in vienna and, yeah and also it's just the the ambience the vibe here is really nice yeah, it's beautiful. we knew exactly what we came for a Wiener Schnitzel, potato salad, and not to forget the cranberry jam. A must-have combo when in Vienna. Here we don't heat our schnitzel with ketchup. Cranberry jam is the way to go and it's an excellent combination, so definitely give it a try. A few minutes later, our schnitzel arrived and it looked stunning. Huge portion and it smelled like heaven. Mm. Crunchy. 
cranberry jam. Mm -hmm. Really good. First of all, the good thing it's crispy. You can hear the crunch. It has it. It like melts in your mouth. The meat is really soft and tender. Without the jam, cranberry jam, I thought it might need a little more salt, but actually with the cranberry jam, it's like the perfect flavor. Bomb. The only thing is I taste the oil, like the fat that it was fried in. That's the only thing. I don't know why, but but it's still very good. Let me try the potato salad. So a potato salad that comes with the schnitzel should be with a little bit of onions um, and like a little tangy and let's see how this one is. It's a freshly made potato salad which is a good thing. I'm just mi missing a little bit of salt but that's not so bad so really good. I mean salt to taste right? Salt is on mm -hmm. the table you can add if you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. The only thing is the breading isn't perfect, right? In some cases, when you go for a Wiener Schnitzel, it has this pillowy breading on top. This one is a little bit broken apart, but that's, I mean, considering the price, that's great quality, I have to say. Overall, it was a very good schnitzel, checking off all the boxes for a quality Wiener Schnitzel and absolutely worth the money. The indoor seating area was lovely, but the outdoor garden surrounded by trees added so much charm to the entire experience. The only slight downside was the bees hovering around us while we ate, but that's part of an outdoor experience and can't really be blamed on the restaurant. So in total, we paid $28.90 for the Wiener Schnitzel, potato salad and cranberry jam, which is a great value considering the quality. Just a heads up, it's cash over. Only. So keep that in mind, no cards accepted. Now let's head to our second spot and see if the high-end Wiener Schnitzel is worth the extra euros. Meisel und Schaden located inside a five-star hotel in Vienna city center. Given the location, you'd naturally expect higher prices for their schnitzel. Their Wiener Schnitzel is priced at $28.90, the potato salad at €5.90 and the cranberry jam at €2.90, bringing the total to a mighty amount of €37.70, which is about 24% more expensive than the previous Gasthaus. But hey, you're in Vienna city center dining in a 5-star restaurant. But is it worth the money? Well, the restaurant is beautifully decorated with outdoor seating and a stunning interior. We chose to sit inside as it was much more comfortable than sitting outside in the heat. One unique feature of Meisel and Schaden is that they have their schnitzel kitchen right at the entrance behind a window so anyone passing by can stop for a moment and observe the mastery of schnitzel making. They're also one of the few places in Vienna where you can actually choose the type of oil for frying your schnitzel. The options are lard, vegetable oil or clarified butter also known as ghee. So we got ourselves this uh, very famous Wiener Schnitzel, which is fried in ghee, <laughs> clarified butter. That's their speciality here. And I'm really excited. We also ordered some uh, potato salad as well, so we can you know, compare both the cheaper version and the more expensive exclusive version. And we got again the cranberry jam. Let's see how it tastes. However, the waiter informed us that frying in clarified butter results in a slightly different heat distribution, so the breading doesn't puff up as much as it would with lard. So if you look for a more visually appealing, Instagram-worthy schnitzel, definitely go with lard. But if you prioritize flavor over looks, clarified butter is the way to go. In fact, clarified butter is their best seller. The buttery flavor, that clarified butter, is so satisfying, I must say. But what I like is that this thing actually has a pretty um, 
butterfly shape. Now let's try the potato salad. As we can see, we have chives on top. We had some red onions, which is great. I like it more with red onions than with white onions. Go for the taste test. Mm. Nice. What I like about this one is that it's not on the sweeter side. It's more on the savior side, and that's what I like. It's a perfect vinegar flavor in it, so it's like tangy. We rounded off our schnitzel marathon with a piece of Apfelstrudel, and it was truly amazing. A huge portion with thin, large slices of apple wrapped in definitely homemade pastry. The vanilla sauce was literally the cherry on top. We love eating Apfelstrudel with vanilla sauce, and this one did not disappoint. The portion is big enough to be shared between two people and making it a great post schnitzel dessert. Our conclusion. So is it worth spending 25% more on a high quality Wiener Schnitzel? It's a resounding yes! We're not saying the first schnitzel was bad, it was actually quite good. But there's definitely a noticeable difference and the experience at Meisler and Schaden was worth the few extra euros. The breading had the distinct buttery aroma, the meat was much more tender and the breading was visually perfect. No cracks in the breading means that the meat did not touch the frying oil and just steamed within the breading, which makes the meat so much tender. Gasthof zum Renner offers a unique local experience and has been around since 1899, which is a very long time. And for good reasons. Affordable food, stunning interior, charming outdoor seating, Viennese tradition, and outstanding dishes. However, if you want a once-in-a-lifetime schnitzel experience, go to Meislandschaden and spend those extra few euros. So that's it for today guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, activate the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. See you guys in the next one. Bye! So I got myself some cloudy apple juice mixed with some sparkling water, which is very typical to do in Austria. Just mix. <laughs> now this. It's trying to get into my drink. So dancing around my drink. Why my drink? Why not his drink?